Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Leap of Faith Farms Under the Stars. I'm Donnie. Um, as most of you that have been uh, checking out some of these videos have seen, we just got back from Neath. That's the Northeast Astronomy Forum for 2018. I've got to be, you know, 100% honest here. Wow. I mean, there is just... If you've never been to anything like that, never bought it in telescope, or just, you know, thinking about just uh, checking out what's there, man, it's worth the price of admission just to walk around, talk to people, and just see how excited everybody is to just talk about this stuff and bring it here for you and me. Uh, but at any rate, uh, I just uh, been getting ready to uh, do this... Um, this uh, this video review here of the uh, the Mead LX90 8-inch ACF. I haven't uh, I haven't done it because I really wanted to uh, put the scope through its paces. For someone like me that is buying a scope like this for um, for visual purposes and um, to get a feel for it and share it with you, just how. Um, what I'm feeling about it and my thoughts. So here we go with the uh, the Mead LX90 8 inch ACF. So here is the current setup of this uh, telescope. You got a, there's a power supply down there. So if anybody's thinking about getting a, um, a go-to scope, one of the things that you really gotta consider is power supply. Now the reason why uh, I have this uh, hooked up is because uh, I I just like setting it up on the um, on my Yeti. It's a this is the 150 powers me up all night for everything that I got. I have also these are my um, my night eyes. Those are my um, my red LEDs to light up a tripod. Uh, but at any rate, this is about the Mead LX90 8 inch ACF. This right here is a standard field tripod this is a really solid solid mount right here okay um, so as far as being able to handle this 8 inch telescope this thing is solid and you'll see down here that I, I got the um, the vibration isolation pads those are those are pretty cool um, I do like them they do a nice job they're 40 bucks it's a lot cheaper than some of the other stuff that's out there you know for uh, you know telescopes and uh, accessories and things but at any rate the um, the, uh, the tripod is very stable with this 8 inch uh, scope so getting back to the uh, the telescope one of the things that you know eventually uh, once you've uh, addressed power and everything that how you're gonna power this uh, the scope up you need to uh, You know get out there and obviously use the thing and uh, once you get to a point you're gonna want some different eyepieces and accessories and such and uh, Meat offers their uh, their diagonal, which is you know, I've already done a review of that um, You will see that this is my 24 millimeter eyepiece Ultra wide angle. No, it's not in current production. And I did talk to Victor, who is the uh, the president of Mead, about the uh, the current offerings of these eyepieces. But you know, tonight will be the first night that I get to put this through its paces and actually take a peek about the uh, the sky. Another thing that you're going to see is a uh, is a focuser. The uh, the stock focuser that comes with this telescope. Um, you know nothing it's not a knock against the telescope it's just you know I bought a better a better focuser um, eliminates a lot of the backlash there is another kit out there from um, another gentleman that offers an upgrade that has some bearings and things and you'll have to upgrade it and remove the focuser yourself but I went with this option and uh, I have not regretted it one bit another thing um, that you're gonna see here is the uh, Peterson equipped on my fork this is the uh, the clutch assembly that's in it. Put it in myself as a beginner, never owning a telescope. That's another thing that you may want to consider on the uh, the eight inch Mead LX90 ACF. If you don't do that, it's it's really you know the focuser 
and this clutch it's really not a knock but uh once you get out there and you start using this thing and you really want to uh you know it, not that you would never enjoy yourself but you know enhance your experience I, I guess i would say then that's you know there's there's offerings that are made out there another thing that you're going to see is this uh tube weight assembly this is the 1401 that fits on uh, my scope and um you know it's going to help and get this uh really balanced out and i'm going to show you exactly what i mean when i say balanced out now here is the uh the clutch assembly i'm going to release the clutch and just you can see what happens all right uh the only thing that's on the front of the scope is the uh i've got a red light from a gina astro okay and i've got the diagonal and the eyepiece um this is everything balanced out and i'm just going to release the clutch and you can see what what happens so as you can see the scope just floats if you're gonna you know buy this scope i'm gonna recommend to you um everything that i've done that you've seen thus far has only enhanced and made my ownership of this scope that much better um it also has gps okay that's one less thing that you're ever going to have to do when you're trying to align this thing up for your first time the uh here's a, a picture of the uh, corrector plate look at that those coatings are absolutely beautiful it does a really really just beautiful job i have always had a great time um, every time the scope has come out to use it i don't feel that i've been slighted in the least mead you do an excellent job of these uh of these scopes okay uh it does have the advanced coma free um system in it the uh what's really nice about that is you get you get a uh, a sharp image all the way to your your edge of field of view so that's um I have uh, I've never owned any other telescope besides this but I will tell you as far as performance goes you know this thing this thing does great um, another thing that you'll notice that I've added to it is this uh, this red dot so the red dot is exactly you know it's what it is um, I've already got a video on that it comes with a, uh, a finder back here I didn't remove the bracket but you know i think this is uh this has been a nice addition to this scope so as far as that goes you know um that's where i'm at so far on this scope the uh the other nice thing is until you actually decide on some sort of a power source because you let's you, let's face it you just bought the thing you drop a ton of money you have the it does come with a a diagonal which is inch and a quarter you're not going to get the 5000 or any of the 5000 eyepieces you're going to get a, uh, a 26 millimeter and another nine something millimeter um eyepiece with a uh, a nice little diagonal it's going to get you started with a finder um, i've upgraded the uh, the finder since and um, as you can see all that stuff the uh the other thing that's kind of cool is the uh, the mount comes with a battery pack on the front and back of it so if you don't have power you know any kind of a, a power pack or anything this right here will get the job done okay so you know that takes uh c batteries four on each side so you're gonna get eight batteries worth of uh worth of power that's remote so i mean you know it's not is it the uh is it where you're gonna be in a year or two or whatever no you're probably going to get some sort of a battery pack for this thing um i noticed the uh, the benefits almost right away as far as how the scope uh, responded to a 12 volt power source um the motor seemed much more responsive they uh it just seemed to really slew a lot um a lot better with uh um a portable power source for 12 volts dedicated to it not the not the internal battery pack so um that's really it um you know as far as what you can see if you've never seen the moon before this thing is going to knock your socks off i mean 
talk about bringing a machine gun to a knife fight. I mean, if you want to look at the uh, the moon and you've never actually looked up for the first time in your life, this thing, you know, this thing's going to knock your socks off. Um, I'm going to power it up. Um, also, at Neef, I got Stella. So Stella is another Mead accessory that can be added to this scope, okay? And it's going to plug in. Uh, it's got an internal battery, but it's going to control the computer, which is the Audio Star. The Audio Star comes with about 40,000 objects uh, programmed into it with four hours of audio of things that you can see in your night sky. And it has some really nice features um, as far as tonight's best. And it can, it can take you on a tour of the night, which is really nice. However, there's, uh, there's, there's better options out there, which is um, Stella, which is a... Uh, a really nice uh, setup you know there's other brands that make this exact um, Wi-Fi adapter however this one um, the one from Mead that's produced with the uh, the Stella logo is is really nice um, won't get too deep into that but uh, here's the um, the controller and we'll give you a uh, just a, a quick sound bite of you know what the controls sound like and the, and the scope sounds like when it smooths with all this weight on it. Now, like I said, so there you are at Zenith. Your everything is not touching or banging into a thing. We've got, you know, all the clearances are, I thought of very well in this, this scope. So let's come back down and we'll rotate. Again, I think um, this scope is worth every bit that you pay for it. Um, how far you take the upgrades and the different things to it, well, that's just a, a taste of personal preference. Um, like I said, the, um, the Micro Focuser and the Peterson and my power source are the only things that are not offered by need besides that and my little LED lights. But everything you see right here can be bought from uh, from Mead. Oh, let me mention this too. Is the uh, the red dot? So these can be some you know some extra considerations when you're going out and, and thinking about buying a telescope like this. Is some of the stuff to get you know the most out of this package. You know, this is some of the things that I did to enhance my my night of viewing. But other than that, I mean, Mead. Thank you for making such a uh, wonderful product. So here, uh, this is going to conclude us here at Leap of Faith Farms Under the Stars. I'm Donnie. Have a wonderful night.